You may have heard of Joseph Smith and the first vision, but what is the first vision and why is it important? For Mormons, properly referred to as members of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, the first vision began the miraculous, modern-day restoration of the gospel of Jesus Christ. In the early 19th century, a spiritual resurgence was underway in western New York. Preachers and ministers from many religions were proselyting for converts. Joseph Smith, a young farm boy, was confused by the religious fervor and desired to know which of all the churches he should join. While reading in the New Testament, he came across a passage in the book of James which reads, If any of you lack wisdom, let him ask of God, that giveth to all men liberally, and upbraideth not, and it shall be given him. Joseph had faith in the words of the Bible and decided to follow James's counsel and ask God, in prayer, which of all the churches he should join. In the spring of 1820, Joseph found a quiet, secluded place in a grove of trees near his home and knelt in prayer. In Joseph's words, I saw two personages whose brightness and glory defy all description, standing above me in the air. One of them spake unto me, calling me by name, and said, pointing to the other, This is my beloved son. Hear him. During this visit, Joseph was instructed to not join any of the churches, but that Christ's ancient church would later be made known to him. Latter-day Saints believe that later Joseph was called to be God's prophet or spokesman to communicate God's will to his children. This first vision is revered by members of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints because some of the most fundamental principles of their faith rest upon this event. Through this experience, Latter-day Saints now understand that God continues to speak to His children in modern times, just as He did anciently. Joseph Smith shared this event on many occasions over the years. In fact, he personally wrote or asked scribes to write at least four separate accounts of his heavenly visitation, making it one of the most well-documented visions in history. Each of the accounts provides unique details and emphasizes different aspects of the experience. Some often suggest that these variations prove that Joseph just made it up. So, what evidences are there that Joseph Smith had the experience he claimed he had? While this is fundamentally a question of faith, let's look at what Joseph said about the event. Joseph published two written accounts of his experience during his lifetime. The most well-known of these published accounts was written by Joseph in 1838 and was later canonized in a book of scripture Latter-day Saints call The Pearl of Great Price. The second was written in 1842 and published in a church newspaper. Much later, historians of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints discovered two other accounts, one recorded in Joseph Smith's unpublished 1832 history and another in a later journal. These accounts were first published in the 1960s. Joseph's accounts of the first vision differ in both emphasis and detail, but they tell a consistent story. Historians expect accounts given over time to vary, depending on the situation and audience. For instance, in the book of Acts in the New Testament, Paul's encounter with the Savior and conversion on the road to Damascus is described three separate times by Paul. Each version differs slightly and emphasizes different aspects of Paul's experience. The various accounts of Joseph Smith's first vision follow this same pattern. Some people have claimed that Joseph Smith's accounts of the first vision are not accurate because they are not exactly the same. However, Latter-day Saints are grateful to have multiple accounts, each adding to their understanding of this sacred experience. Like all miraculous stories of the Bible and other scripture, it is ultimately a question of faith. God loves all of His children and wants them to find the truth, just as Joseph Smith sought the truth through prayer. So, when Latter-day Saints talk about the first vision, they're referring to the experience Joseph Smith had in a grove of trees in upstate New York in the spring of 1820.
where God the Father and His Son Jesus Christ appeared to him and answered his sincere and humble prayer. The First Vision and Why It's Important Now You Know